My friends, look at these beautiful ladies right here. I know everybody on my video this morning wanted to know where this girl was. And she was, she was down. Baby, move your hands. Let's see that. Let's see the sexiness. Yeah, my goodness. Folks, there's my Jenny, Helen of Troy, and my beautiful wife Fatima. It's still declining to be on camera. So I'm not, I'm not gonna make her get on camera until maybe one more week. But she is slimming down. Look at slimming trim, baby. <laughs> All right, so folks, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these ladies down to uh, Envy, and what we're gonna do is just shoot a little bit of uh, people watching video. We're gonna watch a, uh, just a little people watching video down at Envy, and we're gonna stalk out the walking street sign. It is uh, the day after Valentine's Day. What is it? Yeah, February 15th. It's a Friday. So I'm going to take these ladies down, have a drink, and we're going to shoot some 4K footage at the Walking Street sign to see what kind of action is going down tonight in Angeles City. So I want to thank everybody for joining me, Helen of Troy, and the beautiful my Jenny. Jenny is so dressed up tonight, folks. So she is ready to go out and have a beer. Helen is ready to go out, but no beer for her because she gets too crazy. And Fatima is just waiting for us to bring some food back. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, welcome to my world. It's a hard world. You know what I mean? It's hard out here for a pimp, I'm telling you. It's hard for a gangster. It's hard to be a king. Folks, I want to thank everybody for joining me this morning. We kicked off that that video called The Thriller in Manila. And I want to thank everybody for sending uh, Super Chat money this way so I can take the ladies over to uh, Jolly B. But right after that, I posted that video. I had a few too many and I passed out. So they're like pissed off at me because they didn't get to go to the little market today in Jolly B. But th it's going to be there tomorrow. It's not like they missed out. Okay. But I want to thank everybody for joining me. A few minutes, I'm going to take you down to Walker Street. And we're going to try to shoot on the Sony RX100. I'm going to give it one more chance. One more chance to perform. Because the low light capabilities of my iPhone and my old Sony are not as crisp as this RX100. But if this RX100 lets me down tonight on any aspect, I'm getting rid of it. And I am in the market for a new camera. And I think I'm going to go with the Lumix GH5. Yes, I know it has some issues with autofocus. But folks, like I said, I'm stepping up my game. And, you know, some people say 4K is not important. Other people say, man, film in 4K. I got a 4K TV. So I'm on the hunt right now for a Lumix GH5. Well, I'm in the research phase right now. And if anybody wants to weigh in on the quality of the GH5, the Lumix, leave it down in the comments below. But tonight we're going to shoot on the RX100. I can't do any real moving uh, filming because when I'm shooting 4K, there's no optical image stabilization on this thing. There is no stabilization if you're shooting 4K. Basically. If I flip over to 1080, there's a little bit. But anyhow, I want to bring some 4K footage, 24 frames per second. This is a good low light camera down there at the walking street sign. Just people watching with these beautiful chicks right here. So let me let me give you a shot here. Hold on just a second. Folks, I want to show you the beautiful Jenny. This is my Jenny, okay? Look at this beautiful Jenny right here, folks. How can you not love Jenny? She's wearing my hat that says King Marcos. And I think I'm, I'm going to have Helen. What, what hat are you going to wear tonight, baby? Get that hat that says uh, Obey. <laughs> what? No, wait. <laughs> uh, they, they try to buck the king when I told him to wear that hat, and on the front it says obey. But, you know, it's all fun and games, folks. We have a good time around here. All right, ladies. You guys ready to roll? You ladies ready to roll? Yes. All right. Look at these beautiful ladies, my friends. My goodness. Oh my, hold on. Oh my goodness. Alright folks, here we are. About to roll out. 
Uh, what is planning to be, what I'm planning is just a low key night. And there's no telling what's going to happen. But folks, I'm rolling out with two of the baddest looking bitches in the world. I mean, how can anything go wrong? You know what I mean? How can anything go wrong? Look at this. Oh my god. Alright, good night. Look at this. Hold on, hold on. Get right here. Like this right here. One, two. That'll be all. Folks, life is good, I promise you. I mean, let's just. Woo! Cause I've been jet flying, limousine, riding and women loving. Woo! That ain't messing with the nature boy. <laughs> Look at that girl. My god. Alright, ladies, let's roll. All right, my friend, how you doing? All right, cool. Hello, my friend, how are you? Yeah, I want you to meet my wife. This is my wife. Helen of Troy, don't get jealous. Don't get jealous of my Jenny. Yeah, the beginning of any night, my friends, is grabbing a tricycle. My man comes out here, he hits the whistle, and we get a tricycle here. Now, we could easily take the jeepney down there for, like, what, nine pesos each? But, you know, I do like riding in the tricycle. Get a better, uh, better view for my filming. So all we do is wait on this gentleman to roll, call my limousine. And once my limousine gets here, it's time to roll. This is our chariot taking us down to Walking Street. Here we are. We got the beautiful Jenny. Look over here. We got the beautiful Helen of Troy. Show me your hat, baby. Check out that hat, folks. And that hat's like half done. The other one is better. I don't know where it's at. And then Jenny's got a badass hat. But look at Jenny looking so stellar, my friend. set this, we're right here at Ibby, and I'm just going to set this camera on a tripod and show you the entrance of Walking Street. We're just going to stalk it out for a while, all right? <laughs> so I, I don't know if you're going to find this action packed or not, but this is my view, stalking Walking Street sign. Maybe I call this video stalking walking. <laughs> all right, there, folks, there you go. That's the entrance to the world-famous Walking Street. And I'm shooting on a Sony RX100 and that's as far as this bad boy zooms in. So I'm not sure. I'll, I'll try to work out which angle is the most interesting. But basically, this is the entrance to Walking Street if you come off of Fields Avenue. So everybody that's going to party has to walk right here. Now, obviously, you can go around the back way many other ways, but if you're coming down, if you're coming down Fields Avenue, this is the entrance to Walker Street. So here we go, crack open a beer. I got a Stella Artois on the way. Uh, right now, the ladies are not drinking, and that's fine with me. Let me get some change. Come back later and my ladies will get some peanuts. Okay. All right? Okay. Folks, uh, 
young lady on the right, she's been here for years selling peanuts and uh, quail eggs. And you'll see these kids go walking around selling this stuff. And, you know, nobody really knows the whole story. Fair. Yeah. All right, that girl over there got some fashion going oh on, folks. God. Here, here's the, the, remember what I said about people telling you not to video. You break out a small camera and put it on a tripod, everybody comes out of the woodwork and tells you not to video. You hold up a cheap ass cell phone and live stream on Facebook, nobody gives a fuck. Marco, how are you? My friend, how you doing, buddy? Oh, yeah. Good evening, I'm Real McCoy. It's the Real Big McCoy right here. Marcos. How you doing, brother? I'm a vendor. I'm going home. You on the way home, man? Yeah, you finished work? Uh, my wife and my daughter, she waiting for me. All right, man. Well, hey, man. I, down, hey, huh? I hope you have a good night, my brother. It's good to see you, man. So, what are uh, you happy yesterday for Valentine? Hey, hey, man, I took these ladies to Jollibee, bought them chocolate. I'm happy yesterday. I took my wife and my daughter to, yeah. to play a uh, play. Awesome, man. Okay, see you, Marcos. All right, man. Good to see you, Thank brother. You. All right, have a good night, man. I'll catch Bye. you tomorrow. Man. Yes. All right. Now, folks, that's that's one of the nicest gentlemen you ever meet. And what he does, he's got a baby stroller, and he pushes it around, selling uh, all types of goods. And every time I see him, I buy these lighters from him. And it's uh, they're lighters on one side, and they have a uh, flashlight on the other. And what I do, he gives them to me at. A, guy and what he does he sells uh, he sells little knickknacks and stuff from a baby stroller walks up and down Fields Avenue usually starts out up there at Honeycoe's and he rolls by CPI call shop and what I do I, I buy these lighters from him and these lighters on one end have a uh, flashlight and I buy them number one to help them out but number two I give those lighters out as like tips and gifts like if I give one of those lighters to a tricycle driver, it's like I gave him a 150 peso tip and you know, they're what? I don't know what he gives them to me for. I think 20 pesos each, you get like five for 100 pesos. Like five for two bucks. And I give him away his gifts. But that, that's that gentleman's job. That's his profession. With that baby stroller walking up and down this avenue, selling anything from lighters to jewelry to uh, whatever he can put on that cart. Now back to, somebody just told me don't be filming back over here near Phillies, right? Hey. Now folks, this is the thing about it. This is the thing about it. Nobody, nobody is going to fucking tell me what to do except the police. Okay, if you're, if you're the manager of a business and you tell me not to film in your business, I respect that. But you're not going to tell me not to film on the fucking street. The only person that's going to tell me not to film on the street is the police or if the mayor wants to show up. Any government official tells me not to film, okay, I, I'm not going to buck the system, I will comply. But a goddamn waitress or a manager of a restaurant or a bar going to tell me not to film on the street? Uh, you, you don't have standing to fucking tell me that. And I'll politely decline to acquiesce your request to stop filming. That's not going to happen. I mean, I realize I'm, I'm not an American. I realize that when in Rome, do as the Romans. However, you're not gonna fucking push me around when I know I'm not. You're not. You, you don't have the fucking standing to push me around. I'll fucking film anywhere I want to film on the street until the fucking police tell me not to film. That's the way it is, my friends. Most people just cower. But it goes back to what I was telling you. If if you put a fucking camera on any type of tripod, somebody's gonna fucking tell you not to film. And when I say tripod, this tripod is six inches high. But my girls can sit here and live stream on Facebook until the fucking cows come home. And if they're doing it from a fucking cell phone, nobody gives a shit. And I'm filming from an RX100, a little bitty camera on a six inch tripod. And the fucking photography police are coming out of the woodwork telling me not to film. 
okay, well, you can, you can say it, but you can say it, but like I said, only people, the only person that's going to tell me not to film on the street is the goddamn police. That's the way it's going to be. No, thank you, my friend. No, thank you, brother. No, thank you. No, thank you, brother. No, thank you, my friend. No, thank you, brother. documentary on assholes you just made the cut dude look at me like I'm a dick folks so check this out I'm sitting here in enemy just chilling out I was using that RX 100 and it was just a pain in my ass now I'm back on this six seven year old Sony got a badass zoom on it it's great low light great on the audio my friends so I got a I got a note for Sony Okay, and I'm gonna flip the camera around so I can tell Sony. But I want to show you the zoom capabilities of this old ass camera. You see that right there? You see how you can just zoom in way to way far out, folks. I could like follow these chicks all the way down. Check that out. Just like some banjo. out of frame right now but come here let me show you the most beautiful girl in the Philippines right here this is my Jenny folks Jenny Jenny is so beautiful I don't even know how to describe how beautiful she is but baby why are you way over there come come in a little closer here all right let's get in closer here so Jenny is wearing one of the king's hat right there right you gotta check out that hat folks but she is she is absolutely beautiful but the problem is right now she she's a little bit shy because her friend over here Helen of Troy you know when when you bring new ladies into the mix there's a little bit of apprehension a little bit of jealousy a little bit of shyness we're working on that my friends but look just one more time just just take a look at this girl how beautiful she is oh my goodness Baby, take the hat off. Just show them without the hat. Look at that girl. All right, folks. She's a little bit shy. And she don't want to piss off Helen of Troy over here. It's growing pains. Helen, come over here, baby. Oh, no. Well, folks, Helen of Troy might be doing some drama. Let's check. Let's check the drama. All right, Helen. I'm getting puppy now. Oh, we got drama going on. But folks, I'm going to tell you right now, I got a message out for Sony. Okay? This, this old camcorder that I'm shooting on right now has been and still is a gem. It's, 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 it's compact. The fucking quality is great. It's got great optical image stabilization. I am so glad I bought this Sony camcorder years ago. I wish I would have started using it, have started using it six years ago. So I'm a little late to the game. It's not a 4K, but it's a 1080p 60 frame camera. The audio is great. The focus is on time. The zoom allows me to reach out and, and, and just basically touch somebody. So I want to tell you right now, 
And I'll put the nomenclature. It's, it's just an old camcorder. They don't even sell it no more. So, Sony, I love you for making this old camcorder because this, this thing is my go-to camera now. But I want to say, Sony, this RX100 right here, this fucking $1,200, $1,200 fucking brick is about as useful in photography and videography as a fucking brick. This was a $1,200 mistake. I've said it before. The RX100 is not the perfect vlogging camera. It's a horrible fucking vlogging camera for reasons I've stated before. But I forced myself tonight to bring this fucking camera out and try to shoot 4K footage, just some street photography. And I remembered after three or four minutes when the damn thing shut down why I don't use the RX100. And then the battery went dead in what, like eight, 10 minutes, whatever it was. Maybe I got 10 minutes out of a battery. I changed the battery. Now it's too hot. Now I gotta change the battery again. Sony, the RX100 is a piece of absolute shit. I would get better fucking filmography, videography, videos and photos if I had a fucking red clay brick. So that was a $1,200 mistake, folks. Do not buy the Sony RX100, any of the series. It's a piece of shit. Okay, yeah, it fits in your pocket. That's the fucking only good thing about it. Okay, don't buy that camera. It's it's user not friendly. It's a it's a hunk of shit. So Sony, shame on you for making the RX100 so fucked up. The concept is good. But how the fuck can you deal with a camera that'll shoot less, you know, five minutes of 4K shut down, you start it again, you get one minute, it overheats, for, and it, it won't start for 20 minutes. That's a hunk of shit. A battery life. I mean, literally, if I wanted to shoot one night with that camera, I'd have to carry 20 batteries. I would have to, it would take me an hour to shoot 10 minutes of footage. It's horrible. So the RX100, it's in my bag right now, motherfucker, you're fired, all right? I just fired the RX100, $1,200 fucking loss. Maybe I'll do a giveaway and give that motherfucker away. But the RX100 is fired, no longer in the king's arsenal of, vid of video cameras or still photography. It's gone. So my primary camera, until I upgrade, and I'm, I'm staring at the Lumix GH5, but it's got some autofocus issues. And until I, I'm confident that that's not gonna be an issue for me, I'm not pulling the trigger. Everything else about the GH5 is a great camera, great reviews. It's not cheap, but it's what I need. But when they talk about the fact that it's got some autofocus issues, I, I wanna get a little bit better warm and fuzzy that it's not an issue before I pull the trigger on a Lumix GH5 by Panasonic. Sony RX100 is fired out of here this old Sony camcorder is back in the game well it was never out of the game it's my only camera now the iPhone you're fired too the only videos that are gonna be pumped out for me other than the live stream I will live stream on the iPhone other than that I'm an old reliable Sony camcorder fan and this video is coming to you my friends from this old Sony camcorder and I'll make a video this whole night on this camera and I won't have to change batteries. I only carry one spare battery with this camera. And that's just the way it is. RX100, out of here. Okay, I've got the beautiful Jenny, say hello baby. Okay, Jenny is just now getting into the mix, so she's obviously a little camera shy. Uh, but don't worry, you're gonna see more of Jenny, I promise. I'm taking these ladies. Baby. Easy on the merchandise. Oh, shit, baby. Folks, I'm getting hit from both directions over here. My goodness. I'm taking these ladies on a little adventure in a few days, so you're gonna get to see a lot of Jenny. And my God, is Jenny beautiful. I'm telling you, I mean, the Miss Universe, if, if Jenny had entered the contest, this would be Miss Universe right here. How about me? Nothing. 
Uh, baby. Uh, Listen, I'm trying to introduce a new member of our team here, and you're over here being jealous. <laughs> life isn't fair. No, life is not fair. She also so unfair. <laughs> Listen, I got Helena Troy bitching at me because I'm not showing her a bunch of love. <laughs> I got Fatima at home bitching because she's waiting on some pork lumpia and some rice. <laughs> And I've got Jenny over here just looking beautiful, never complaining. So there might be a shakeup in the order, in the order of uh, my ladies over at the crib. We'll see. But folks, all right. So I do a little, I do a little people watching because I just try to do 20 minutes of people watching on that RS100, and the footage sucks. Let me get back to trying to film some shit here. What? Look at this. There's a little jealousy going on with Helen of Troy, okay? That's her best friend right there. But, but there's a, there's a little jealousy going on. And so just tell everybody, Helen, why are you jealous of Jenny? I'm not jealous, no. Sorry. Huh? Send so I got my, my two girlfriends chatting with my wife on Facebook. Huh? Got love Sandy's of my friends. My walking street. All right, folks. We're taking a little walk down Walker Street, and we are headed over to uh, Tequila Reef. But right now we're on Walker Street. And what is it? Friday night? Yeah, so it's a Friday night on Walker Street. I'm with the beautiful Helen of Troy. And I'm with uh, the beautiful Jenny. Folks, believe it or not, you see this road? This road was brand new about four years ago. They redid this road, redid all this paving four years ago. And like anything in the Philippines, it's already broken. Well, it was broken like the day after they finished it. Good, brother, how you doing? Alright folks, it's, it's a Friday night on Walker Street. And we're early. So I mean this is not a good representation of what the party is gonna be like later tonight. But I just thought we would take you for a walk down through here. See what's going on. But really we're on the way to the Reef to uh, drink a margarita. Get some lumpia. What are we getting, baby? Pork lumpia? We're gonna get some pork lumpia. Send it up to the old lady up in the condo. I think it feels like it might be starting to rain. So that's, that's another reason I decided to take this little early walk down through here. Huh? 
folks, earlier Jenny was wearing these pants, but for some reason she changed out of these pants. I don't know why she changed clothes because she was looking so beautiful. And Helen, baby, you look beautiful every day. Look at this girl, so beautiful. My goodness. All right, folks, right there, high society. Nah, that's not my cup of tea. But yeah, this is just where everybody goes to at night. And it's so damn loud in there, folks. You can't even hear yourself fucking think. You go in high soap for about an hour, you're going to lose about 10% of your hearing. But that's, uh, that's where everybody goes to. Hey, you walk up there with Jenny, let me film both of you. Ready? Well, folks, she's my two ladies right here. Well, two of my ladies. I got one more lady back at the condo. Well, folks, these ladies are fucking beautiful. Look at these ladies. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. So again, folks, it's a little low-key walk. Down Walker Street to the end. And when you come to the end of the street, you're looking at McDonald's, my boo high. <laughs> Yeah, we're just coming down here to show folks the end of Walker Street. And that's the end right here, folks. You end up at McDonald's. And I'll just spin around. Hold on, let me get Walker Street in the in the frame here. <laughs> folks. Hold on. What you do is take it like this. <laughs> folks, you see what I'm working with? I hand the camera. Baby, baby. You gotta hold it still. Can you hold it still? There we go. Yeah. I hand the camera to Helen of Troy, and then she points the camera at her face. And I'm like, what? I'm over here. So anyhow, folks, we just took you for a little walk down Walking Street. It's early on a Friday night, and you know I'm not out to party tonight. I just want to go over and have one drink at Tequila Reef, and then take some food back up to the old lady. The only exception is we may. I may take the ladies over to Midnight Rodeo because I want to teach Jenny how to two-step. She says she can dance, but she can dance in high soap. She can't. She don't know no two-step. But anyhow, behind me, world famous, one of the world famous walking streets, Angeles City. Thanks for joining me on this little adventure. And let's go over to Tequila Reef, my friends. Now, folks, I had no idea this place is here. But check this out, okay? This is called Soul Chicken. Craft beer and food since 2017. I had no idea this place is here and we got to go. Let's go ladies, we gotta have a beer. Hello my friends, how are you? All right, good evening. Man, good evening. I had no idea this place was here, man. When did you guys open this spot? Last year, sir. Wow, man, too cool. And you got some craft beer on draft? Folks, take a take a look around this spot right here. This place is yes, cool. How are you, my friend? Very good. All right. Look at this beautiful girl. My <laughs> goodness, folks. I, I'm you know I, I come I'm here all the time and I had no idea that this little spot was down here. Soul Chicken, craft beer and food since 2017. And is, is there an upstairs too? Yeah. Yes, sir. Do you want to try to do upstairs? Yeah, we'll just, let me just take a look up there. Can you, can you, uh... You can go upstairs. Well, you know what? First, let me order a beer and then uh, I'll, and then I'll... Uh, when I order craft beer, it's not available. What, what's available? Uh, that's all. all. we're going to change it. Yes, it got run out. All these are off? Yes. Okay, so all the craft beers are not available? Yes. Because actually, we will stop selling it. You're 
we're going to change our our restaurant here. So we, this is not a salt chicken anymore. It's Starinate. It's name. What's the new name gonna be? Starinate. But Starinate. Don't wanna say. Oh, okay. So it's changing names from Soul Chicken to Starry Night. Yes. Now, is Starry Night gonna have craft beer or no? Uh, no. So the craft beer is no more. No more. Oh my goodness! This is a this is a, a travesty. This is yes. this is terrible because this place is so cool. So cool. This place is so cool. You have all this craft beer. Yes. And what what a cool place, folks. Um. Okay, but you just heard the lady. Look, I thought I had just stumbled onto my new favorite spot, but they're taking all this out. It's no longer going to be soul chicken craft beer and food. It's going to be Starry Night with no craft beer. So. Yeah, but baby, I, I got to be honest with you. The reason I came in here was to get a was to get a craft beer on draft, and it's not available. So, all right, folks, craft beer not available. So we'll just continue on to uh, tequila re. All right, girl. Well, thank thank you anyhow. Yeah, good good luck to you guys. But I don't I don't know why you're changing it because this place is too cool. All right, no problem. Hey, good luck. Have a good night. All right, folks, we're out of here. Tequila Reef, here we come. All right, folks, we just chilled out at Tequila Reef, and I didn't do a whole lot of filming over there because you've seen plenty of people watching, plenty of banjo, but there's a little drama going on because Helen of Troy, this beautiful girl, whenever she drinks, folks. I'm not drinking. See? See what I'm saying? <laughs> Helen. Helen had one little Baileys and milk or whatever, and so she... So Baileys is not drinking. What do you think, baby? She's doing drama, huh? Because I'm hungry and I'm drama. That's it. All right, folks. When a Filipina gets hungry, they turn into drama queens. <laughs> but I still love you, baby. I still love you. All right, but we're going over here, folks. We're going to Midnight I Rodeo. You, I'm hungry. We're going to Midnight Rodeo. Unless we find some food on the way over there. You want some barbecue? Oh, Barbecue. What's up, my friend? How you doing, brother? All right, good yeah. to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, that's good. You ladies want some hot dog? Got a hot dog. Yeah. You, want a you want a hot dog? You want a hot dog? I have already had some too. I'm talking about a barbecue hot dog. Very nice. All right, we'll catch you when we come out, my man. All right, folks. We're we're on the way. We are in route to Midnight Rodeo. And Fatima is up at the condo starving, but you know what? Sometimes it's got to be like this. So we're rolling the midnight rodeo, and folks, I'm going to tell you this. Come to Angeli City. You can party. You can hang out in the go-go bars. You can go to High So. But if you've got a lady, and you want to take her to a nice, little, cool, rom whoa, baby, watch out. Cool little romantic spot. I recommend Midnight Rodeo. They have a great band. The staff is super friendly. The beer is ice cold. Local prices. No drama over here. So basically what you do when you leave Tequila Reef, you know, you cut a left over here. Take a left and an immediate right at this uh, old mate's pub in a partel. And... And then well, I'm gonna take you to Midnight Rodeo. So we're we're walking, and there's a little little local spot right here. But folks, Midnight Rodeo, right here, a yellow sign, and that's the Queens Hotel. How you doing, my friends? You doing all right? Yeah, all right, yeah. Folks, I'm loving it. You gotta love it. So we're coming up here to Midnight Rodeo. And there's my man right there selling chocolate. How you doing, my friend? You doing all right? Okay, I knew You got some chocolate, ma'am? Oh my goodness, look at that chocolate. Doing good. I'm doing pretty good, man. Pretty good. Ladies, ladies, you want some chocolate? You like chocolate? Folks, my friend here sells some of the best chocolate. And this is homemade chocolate, right? 
Ladies, pick, pick out a chocolate. Look, look at these beautiful ladies right here, man. Look. Dark or white? This dark? You want dark or white? This one. Pick one out, ladies. One fifty for one or uh, four for five hundred. Four for five. Now just let me just get one, man. Because if I give these ladies too much chocolate, you know what's gonna happen? They, they're gonna get big booties. Oh shit! Maybe I should do that. Just pick one out. Pick one out, ladies. You want dark or white? Now, folks, if you see this gentleman around, this chocolate is homemade in his kitchen, and Helen went with the dark chocolate, baby. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, baby. No problem, my friend. Baby, listen, we in the entertainment business, right? You're so beautiful. We're going to Hollywood, baby. All right, folks, we're about to roll up in Midnight Rodeo. I highly recommend it. It's open at 8 p.m. It closes at 2. And it's right here. They got a live band, live music. Highly recommend it. Folks, meeting all kind of friends tonight. It's a good night. We're at Midnight Rodeo. Coming to you live, but I'm not live. I don't... Oh, my goodness. Jenny.
leaving midnight rodeo had a few cold beers up in there I want to thank my buddy from Alaska for buying the beers from us and I'm not gonna name no names but due to that gentleman's uh, profession it's not good for me to name his name so uh, we're headed to uh, folks I'm gonna tell you we're going to Margarita Station to get some food because I love my ladies and my ladies love me but you know what my ladies love more than me they love goddamn food that's what they love what you want to eat baby I don't know. you want pork adobo folks tonight I let Helen drink a little bit and she got so much drama drama there was so much drama going on with Helen it was like a scandal there was a scandal <laughs> up in the bar yeah, it was a big scandal. Oh, are they? Yeah. Where's the And she's, she's still doing the scandal. What kind of scandal, huh? You want balut? Yeah. We have a balut. Is this now, is this balut? Yes, sir. Oh, my uh, goodness. It's very yummy. Folks, yummy. my lady, baby, do you want balut? No, she has balut. How about you want balut? You want balut? I don't eat balut. Baby, you got, a, you got a small change? No, you have. I don't have. What? <laughs> no, maybe I have. <laughs> How much <laughs> How much for the one below? Yeah, 18 pesos. 80 pesos? Yeah. No, 18. How much? 10? Baby, how much for one balloon? Where for Karen? For Karen, some balloon. 15. 15 pesos. Okay, 15 pesos, folks, for one balloon. How many balloons you get? Get two for Fatima. Jenny, you want balloon? You don't want balloon? No, ah. I'm not carrying that. Ah. I got the camera right. It's okay. You keep it on. So I. So folks, we got how many balut we got? We got four balut. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, my peanuts, friend. Uh, peanuts. And you got some peanuts too. Huh? All right. So she got some peanuts. You want? All right, so we got peanuts right here. Cool. All right, next stop is uh, Margarita Station, my friends. We got a little carinderia. We got, ooh, Bihon Guisado. I like the Bihon Guisado. My friend over here has got some fruit going on. All right, you ready? All right, folks, we're gonna take a walk. I'm gonna take you on a walk. Whoa, look at that right there, man. Delicious. How you doing, my friend? All right. That's it. Yeah, thank you. Well, folks, when you when you walk down the street right here, nobody likes the camera. I got it. I understand it, but you know what? Tonight is the way it's got to be. So we're rolling. All right, my friends, how we doing? We got brown sugar. You okay, Helen? You hungry? Folks, Helen is so, so damn hungry. It's crazy. How hungry are you, baby? Too much. Huh? Too much. What do you want to eat? 
Oh, I know that. You're gonna do that, but what? I'm talking about food. <laughs> I'm talking about food. Oh, my friend, no thank you. Thank you, my friend. Right. She's busy eating them fucking peanuts, baby. How's the peanuts, girl? Delicious. You want corn? Yeah. You want corn? How much is the corn, baby? Something corn. Wait to buy the white one. Uh, that's low. What do you got? 25 on the corn? 25. Yeah, 25. Alright folks, 25 pesos on the corn, 50 cents per ear. Steam corn and this this gentleman's gonna put it on a stick and put a little butter and a little salt. 50 cents. How can you beat that? Look at that corn, my friends. Right there. Corn down in there. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Corn and baluta. Thank you very much, my Balut friend. And corn. Seventy-five. How much, baby? Twenty-five. Seventy-five. Twenty-five each. Seventy-five. Twenty-five each. Uh, yeah. All right, 25 each. Thank you very much, my friend. <laughs> Folks, Helen of Troy is fucking drunk, <laughs> pissing me off. Come on, come on, walk. Okay. All right, my friend. How you doing, brother? You doing all right? Okay. Ladies, you want some barbecue? No. no? All right, they don't want barbecue tonight, my friend, but that barbecue looks delicious. Oh, yes. Oh, gee. Okay, that's some fruit right here. Hey. Hello, my friend. How are you? Good. You want Viagra? No, I don't need Viagra. I don't need Cialis. All right, folks. Coming up on Margarita Station. So, I'm thinking about stopping at Margarita Station right here. So, I'm going to stop the camera. But, goddamn, Jenny's looking beautiful. Shit. Alright folks, I'm here at uh, Margaret Station. Looking out through the chicken wire like a rooster. Like my buddy said. A bunch of roosters up in here and a few fucking pigs. Got three ladies over here. But I'm gonna I think I'm gonna just gonna focus the camera right here. Let's do some people watching. If I'm sitting here watching who's coming down the pipe, right there. There you go. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna let me get my camera straight. Listen. I'm sitting up in Margarita Station like a fucking rooster because I'm looking through chicken wire. All I'm doing is chilling, watching the traffic go by. That's what you do. You go to Margarita Station and you sit behind a chicken wire like a fucking rooster. You just you just watch the traffic go by. It's a Friday night, but all the traffic's down on Walker Street right now. You don't get to do some good people watching here until the end of the night, and then you got people coming out. You know, you sit behind this chicken wire. I mean, all through the years. I've hollered at a few bitches walking by, wrote them in. But nowadays, for the most part, all I do is just chill, enjoy my drink, you know? That's what I do. So, 
I'm thinking about taking these ladies home and then going back down to Voodoo. Party it up. Now I've got, who I got a, what's your name again, baby? <laughs> All right, that's, that's Jenny. Jenny don't drink. I love that. She don't drink at all. She drink a water all night. Thank you, Jenny, for being a good girl tonight and taking care of Marquitos. <laughs> all right, folks, I gotta order some food. Fuck it. I got some corn. I got three ears of corn and some peanuts. I gotta order some food. <laughs> 